uh, mandible has got uh, ramus and the body of the mandible both are connected here at the pubic uh, at the symphysis menti symphysis menti although it is in the midline although it is called a symphysis but this is not a secondary cartilaginous joint it's a primary cartilaginous joint both the body of the mandible are attached here in the center this half has got ramus and the body in the ramus the above part this is the head of the mandible this is the constricted part is called as neck of the mandible this is called as mandibular notch this part is coronoid process and this is the ramus which has got interior posterior border lateral and medial surfaces now if you see in the inside or the medial surface of the ramus mandibular foramen the foramen continues in the canal which is going in the body of the mandible and comes out through a foramen it start from here and comes out through the mental foramen so mandibular foramen uh, mandibular foramen starts uh, in the medial part of the ramus and then it comes out through mental foramen now this mental foramen uh, what passes from here is uh, the important one it uh, the inferior alveolar nerve artery and vessels all are passing from here and it comes out to the mental foramen as mental nerve mental artery and mental vein okay second thing at the neck can you see this area number 17 this is called as pterygoid fovea or depression this pterygoid fossa gives insertion to the lateral pterygoid muscle it's a muscle of mastication coronoid process and the anterior border of the ramus this line this gives attachment to the temporalis muscle which is coming from the temporal fossa medial side of the ramus of the mandible here gives attachment this rough area for the medial pterygoid outer part here it gives attachment to the masseter which is the outer part of the which one of the mastication muscles another thing you have to remember here is these genial tubercles on the medial side in the mental region there are four tubercles which are called as two are superior tubercles and two are inferior genial tubercles from the superior genial tubercle genioglossus is an important muscle of the tongue which is coming out and going to the tongue. Uh, mental foramen from here mental nerve, mental artery and mental vein comes out which is the continuation from the inferior alveolar nerve. Inferior alveolar nerve is the branch of posterior division, it is a sensory nerve, posterior division of the uh, trigeminal uh, mandibular nerve. This is called as angle of the mandible angle of the mandible is the weakest point from where the mandible can be fractured uh, this is what you have to uh, remember uh, at this level the relation of the mandible with the nerves that we ask in the exam number one at the third molar there is lingual nerve lingual nerve is related with the under surface of the third molar just behind the third molar this area is for the uh, lingual nerve okay yes. uh, at the mandibular notch in the inferior inferior alveolar nerve is passing from the mandibular foramen this question we ask generally in the exam and auriculotemporal nerve is related with the uh, uh, around the neck of the mandible the capsule of the mandible tm joint is attached over here A lateral pterygoid has got the fovea as i shown here yes. in the neck so this muscle is a little intracapsular in the tm joint so this is what we ask from the mandible